What's, what's the matter? Nothing, nothing, nothing. I got poked in the eye. You know how wild it can get in a bookstore? <laughs> it's not funny, Ray. I fell asleep. The guy was droning on and on, and I fell asleep. So he hit you? <laughs> she did. I had to wake you up. When I wanted to wake Graham enough, I would stroke his hair <laughs> and gently kiss his forehead. That's how you do it. You were sleeping on me in public. I had to get you off of me. Oh, my. I had hoped that after your little separation last week, that maybe tonight would go better. Well, everything is fine, Marie. No, it's not. Everything is not fine. Stop rubbing it already. You're making it worse. I'm not talking about my eye. Everything is not right with me. The whole me. What? What do you mean? I went to that lecture, and I tried, Deborah. God help me, I tried to like it. The, the elbow in the eye was the best part of the night. <laughs> well, I'm sorry. I thought you were an adult. I made a mistake. Who the hell am I? What are you talking about? Don't you see? Last week, the same thing. I went out with the guys, the same thing happened. I, I didn't belong there either. So now I, I got this thing in my head, like, like, who am I? What do I do now? Where the hell do I belong? Right here! <laughs> You're on my foot again, Ma. Oh. Deborah, I'm gonna put Raymond's cannolis in your refrigerator. All right. Ma, why can't they just grab one of those? No, Robbie, I made it especially for Raymond to cheer him up. So he gets 10 cannolis and I get none? He's having a life crisis. Chip, life crisis. When I got divorced, I had to beg you for a piece of raisin toast. <laughs> How was it, Did you have a nice time? You know, I did. I really did. Was I right or was I right? The lodge is heaven on earth. I gotta tell you, that steam room, that was exactly what I needed. Oh, that's great, honey. I'm glad you were able to relax. Yes, the steam room must have been nice. I've never been invited to the lodge. <laughs> but that's okay. I could always work up a sweat by chasing a psychopath down the subway track. <laughs> You know, Ray, you fit right in. I was worried you were going to say something stupid or liberal. I actually like talking to those guys. Well, that's terrific. Have 10 cannolis. Oh, my God. I made you a special treat, Raymond. Sit down. So what do you say, Ray? You going to join the Brotherhood? The guys say you'd be a shoo -in. You know what? Yeah. I think I would like that. Wait a minute. You want to join the lodge? <laughs> It'll be great. I'll be your father, but I'll also be your brother. <laughs> All right, that's it. No, Robbie, 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 Robbie. Ray, come on. I mean, I, I know you had a good time there today, but you don't want to join. Why wouldn't he? Because he's not a hundred. <laughs> Percent sure he wants to join. No, I, I, I know what you're saying, Deborah, but I don't know. You know, when I was in that steam room, it just felt right. I mean, I, I, I think it's what I've been looking for. Sweaty man boobs? <laughs> I don't like that, Robert. I mean, I was comfortable, you know? I was relaxed. I was happy. Plus, I gotta say, everyone told me you were, like, the best-looking guy in there. Of course he was. He's the before in a room full of afters. 